What's up, YouTube? Bam, and welcome to another edition of Wolf King's Vids. Okay, we're going to be focusing on gay marriage again. This time, uh, Glorin Klingerschmidt is going to respond to the, cir the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals striking down uh, Utah's ban on gay marriage. Um, let's just see what he has to say. The newspaper in a hundred years. When these two men, these two men who are kissing on your screen, they're both dead. And in a hundred years, I'm going to be dead. You, the viewers, are probably going to be dead. We're all going to be, what's the next appeal? And what, okay, the U.S. Supreme Court didn't get this right, didn't fix it. Well, then there's a higher court. Because after that, these two men will appear before this court, the great white throne of judgment, where Jesus Christ himself is sitting on the throne and issuing his determination and he will overrule whatever the Supreme Court said. And what will Jesus' determination be? Well, probably the same as what he declared in Matthew 19. Have you not read from the beginning that God created them male and female? He said, for this reason a man shall leave his mother and father and be joined to his wife, and the two become one flesh. They're no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, let no man separate. Jesus, as the judge, will overrule the U.S. Supreme Court. And what will he do with these two men? It'll be printed in... Heaven's newspaper in a hundred years that God throws them into hell. Heaven? All right. That is, that was Gordon Klingerschmidt's response with regard to that political action. Wow. So, Jesus is going to be in judgment of these of of the gay people he's going he's going to sit on his his great right throne just like uh just like the one apparently Elvis had <laughs> and he's going to banish them into hell and it's going to say that in heaven's newspapers heaven has newspapers what the fuck <laughs> it is amazing it is amazing the way that fundies actually respond to, uh, to to political decisions like that 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 affect the zeitgeist of our of our nation. They they they're gonna say they're gonna come up with delusional nonsense about how it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what happens in the real world because in in the in the supernatural here hereafter it, it it's gonna be it's gonna be different. As if they, as if they know or actually can prove that, right? I mean, and let, let, let's just focus on Jesus, for example. Um, first of all, wasn't didn't Jesus make out with a guy in the Bible? Yeah, yeah, he he did. Uh, apparently, he kid, he made out with Judas before um, before he was kidnapped. Kind of romantic, right? He was also a uh, wine drinking. He was very liberal. Cared about the poor. Focused on the poor. You know, focused on forgiveness and loving thy neighbor as thyself. Also hung out with 12 guys. He, he really was a fan of Sausage Fest. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, th these these aspects these aspects of Jesus' character completely are, are like, um, are completely like diluted from the right-wing mind. It's it just like this, it's just re-characterization. I mean, there, there's a video going on about how Karl Marx took his ideas from Jesus and he was the inventor of socialism and communism so but I mean it, they, they just recharacterize him as a white American objectivist capitalist all around loving Republican that'll just that'll just destroy liberals and progressives and uh, and hippies or whatever environmentalists because that's just the way he sees things. No. That's not how reality works. I mean, it, it doesn't matter what you really think. Honestly, with regard to religion, you, you can think whatever ridiculous thing you can. But if, if you can't find a real, rational, secular reason for why that for why gay marriage should, should be illegal... I mean, there, there's really no case. That that's why that's why society is advancing in such a way that more states in the United States in, in the United States are 
are more are more relaxed and more chill with accepting gay marriage. There's no, I mean, gay people contribute as much to society as straight people do. So what's the point? What was the point with the with the discrimination? It is really the result of an older generation that has, for a large part, tried to try to influence, like sort of an earlier generation with regard to this about how it's wrong. But like it's as that older influence dies off and as society goes more with modernity, there's this is something that's just going to be the case. It's going to be equal alongside alongside the whole man and wife thing, and it's. I mean, it's not going to affect anyone. It's just going to be more people are going to have, like, the same rights and benefits as other people do, and that's the way society progresses. I mean, if all you could do, if all you could pull out of your ass is that that this shouldn't be the case because it, it, um, it violates tradition, then you're shit out of luck because tradition has no inherent value. I mean, as much as for the sake of sentimental, for the sake of, uh, just being sentimental and nostalgic, that's pretty much uh, the closest thing it actually comes to. But it ultimately becomes, um, you know, modified over time because everything is subject to change with regard to how stuff is run. So that's pretty much my, uh, <laughs> that's pretty much my analysis on that. You know, dare to know. There's, there's really nothing... Even if, even if two guys and two women marry, it's not gonna affect you. So stop being so butthurt about it. And Jesus would probably be chill about it because he was like a wine drinking liberal bisexual. All right, that's my video. If you like it, fave, like, subscribe, leave me your thoughts and your comments. Peace. Happy Fourth of July.